Today I am somewhat restoring Grandpa's old number five jack plane. Hey guys, how's it going? So, a little bit of history first. Back in June 2018, I was out at my family farm helping my dad and brother take out some trees around my grandpa's old house in preparation to get it taken down. At this point in time, it had been uninhabited for about six years and really wasn't the most livable of places anymore. Well, it wasn't exactly livable toward the end when Grandpa still lived there, but that's beside the point. While I was taking a break in what used to be Grandpa's patio, I had noticed his old plane in the dirt and brought it home with me to get it cleaned up. At this point, I knew it definitely wasn't in the best of shape, but I was hopeful. Once I had it back in my shop, I started dismantling it and clearing off all of the dirt and surface rust that would come off. And I was actually surprised by how easily the plane came apart. I only needed to break out the temporary workbench with the vise on it to break apart the blade and the chip breaker. With everything taken apart, I grab a plastic bin, dump in a 4 liter jug of white vinegar, throw all of the metal pieces of the plane in the vinegar, and I let it sit for a week. A week later, it looks like something has in fact happened since the vinegar is now black, so I get ready to clean up all of the parts. To clean them off, I pull them out of the vinegar and give them a good scrub with the scrubby pad to get the rest of the surface rust off, which really took no effort, not that I would have expected any after a week of sitting in vinegar. With the parts de-rusted, I rinse them off in the other container I have out with baking soda water, just to neutralize any vinegar I might not have wiped off my first time around and gave everything a good dry down. <laughs> then to actually get rid of the vinegar, I just dumped the... I went out onto the driveway and dumped the baking soda water into the vinegar to neutralize it and then I just dumped it in the alley. It worked. The alley smelled like vinegar for the next week though until it rained. So, oh well. Now that all of the parts are cleaned off and neutralized, I discover all of the damage that the rest had been disguising. The more obvious ones were the broken lever cap, not that that one was all that hidden, and the giant crack in the side of the plane body. Looks like Grandpa had tried to fix it at one point with his self-proclaimed pigeon <laughs> welding. Either way, it was clear that the working days of this plane are long behind it, but that also makes my life a little bit easier since now I'm just restoring it for sentimental and cosmetic purposes, rather than to have it as a functional plane. However, that still didn't stop me from getting distracted with other projects for the next year. Based on the slice in the side of my hand, I think I was working on my firewood storage shed at the time. So if you missed that video, you can check that out up here. How's that for a stretch for a card? It actually scarred. I got a scar inside of my hand now. So about a year later, I threw a wire brush in my drill press at its highest speed and started attacking all of the plane parts with it. Fun fact, I'm still digging bristles out of that sweater that I was wearing. Six months later. Where are your safety <laughs> After the wire brushing, I broke out the acetone and gave all of the metal parts a wipe down to clean everything up. And Man, I think I need better cartridges for my respirator if I'm going to be working more with acetone because even with the respirator, these fumes were ridiculous. Once the acetone evaporated off, I began to tape off all of the screw holes and other parts I didn't want painted and gave everything I wanted to paint a couple shots of self-etching primer and then black gloss enamel spray paint over the next couple days. I think I did two or three coats of each. I can't remember for sure. Maybe I only did two coats of primer and three coats of paint, but yeah, two or three each. Then to get rid of some of the overspray, I just used a utility knife and scraped off the excess paint. Then all that was left was to reassemble the plane, which I didn't need to be too accurate about since this is just a display piece now, so I don't need to worry about making sure that the blade is set properly or any of that precision crap, so yeah. Take the handle for example. The threads for the handle screw were completely rusted away, so I just super glued the screw and handle back into place. It works. So I'm not 100% sure what kind of plane this is. The only thing that I could find that had any kind of logo on it was the blade. And it looks like it says Peugeot Company, which was a French tool manufacturer that was operating between the 1800s and 1970, somewhere in there. However, in my research, I haven't found much for Peugeot metal body planes. So it could very well be that this is just a Peugeot blade on some random plane body. I don't know. And the person who might know isn't around anymore. However, if memory serves me correctly, my grandpa came over from what was then called Yugoslavia with his family as a child in 1928 or so. So if the plane came over with them, then that would have been within Peugeot's time frame, and it's a lot closer to France than Alberta, Canada. 
Otherwise, yeah, it's probably just a Peugeot blade on another brand's body. Either way though, I'm happy that I was able to find this plane and save it from being buried somewhere and turn it into a, my little piece of family history that I can have on display. And with that, I'm going to call it a video. So thank you all for watching, and if you like what I'm doing here, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. If you have any questions or comments, I look forward to reading them in the comment section below. And if you want to see more up-to-date projects, you can follow me on Instagram at John the Shriner. Otherwise, I hope to see you in the next video, and have a good one. How do you like my new voiceover setup, by the way? It's winter, so I think I might be doing this for the next couple months. Works for me.